Megamind, we'll talk about that first. Megamind is the big new DreamWorks uh, animated film. Now, DreamWorks, of course, they had a hit with How to Train Your Dragon, which mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of. I like that movie a lot. Now, Good. Megamind, huh? Good. Did you not like uh, How to I, Train I'm Your not Dragon? thrilled with any DreamWorks animation, to be honest. Oh, my God. You're out of your mind. I'm just not. He's, 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 he's all Pixar. Okay, here's yeah, the thing. Here's what Megamind is about, as if you don't already know. So, uh, Will Ferrell is Megamind. He's the villain of Metro City. And Brad Pitt is Metro Man. He is the hero of Metro City. And I guess, according to the movie, there really is only one villain and one hero in the movie, and that's sort of the two of them. And what I liked about the film, and we'll take a little clip in a second, what I liked about the film is that it sort of shows you that, like, good and evil sort of need each other. And without one, you can't have the other. Let's look at a clip, and I'll explain more after that. Over here, old friend. In case you haven't noticed, you've fallen right into my trap. You can't trap justice. It's an idea, a belief. Well, even the most heartfelt belief can be corroded over time. Justice is a non-corrosive metal. But metals can be melted by the heat of revenge. It's revenge, and it's best served cold. But it can be easily reheated in the microwave of evil. Well, I think your warranty is about to expire. Maybe I got an extended warranty. Warranties are invalid if you don't use the product for its intended purpose. Oh, girls, girls, you're both pretty. Can I go home now? That's, uh, that's Tina Fey, by the way, is the uh, Lois Lane type terrific. character. That's terrific. So, here's the thing. What happens is, is that... <laughs> is that Megamind finally kills Metro Man, right? So he no longer has a superhero to fight. And the, 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 the clever thing about the movie is that now that the villain doesn't have a hero to fight, what does he do with himself? He, the guy is just bored. He has the whole city to run by himself. He does all the stuff he wants to do, but then in the end he gets bored, so he winds up creating another superhero to fight, played by Jonah Hill. Now, uh, the movie is a little bit reminiscent of Despicable Me, which came out earlier this year. I would say Megamind is a little better than Despicable Me. I think Despicable Me uh, plays to the kids a little bit more. Um, I think Will Ferrell is very funny, and I think a lot of his ad lines were ad-libbed. I really liked how there were certain uh, words that he mispronounced because uh, Megamind and Metro Man are from a different planet, like Superman. Like, instead of calling it uh, Metro City, uh, Megamind keeps calling it Metrocity. Oh. Which, oh, which Corey liked, which I thought was funny. <laughs> anyway, it's got, you know, uh, it's funny. When it's funny, it's funny. So uh, it's got good energy. I think that I saw it in 3D. You don't have to, but I will say this. The camera work is pretty good. You know, obviously, it's an animated film, so they can put the camera wherever they want. So it's got a lot of energy, a lot of good camera work. It uses the 3D in a way that Coraline did, which we'll talk about later, which is that it's very subtle. It doesn't throw things at the screen like 3D always does, which is so annoying. I like that. Uh, I thought the movie was basically fine. There are some pop culture references here that the older folks will like, like Marlon Brando and Donkey Kong. But uh, I thought it was fine. I, I will admit that I think that this genre of superheroes, Incredible, Despicable Me, and now uh, Megamind is getting a little played out. So I think after this, I'm basically done with, the, with, with that sort of new meta take on the superhero genre. But I would uh, give this a pass. I like this. You know when I was done? After The Incredibles. Because I love The Incredibles. The Incredibles is my fa not only my favorite Pixar film, it's my probably my favorite animated film of the past 15, 20 years. Corey has a comment. Yes. I fell asleep, I fell asleep in The Incredibles. Watch it again with me. <laughs> I'll, I'll walk you through it. And, and then cuddle, apparently, as you go. Oh, we'll cuddle. <laughs> Will there be cookies? I'll, yes. Okay. Well, well, I'll, I'll, seven coach you, I'll coach you through. I'll coach you through the appreciation of the incredible. You can explain now, these seven now, yes. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Let's explain. I, I was not here for this, <laughs> but uh, I have it on good authority that Wade Major basically ate an entire truckload of cookies it, it gets, from Mike's it, kitchen it, it, before it the show. It multiplies four cookies. You didn't there multiply. Was, there was these big, time. huge. I'm talking big cookies. Oh, they're not that big. Very sizable, and it was like it's like a tray, and they were filled in the tray, and it was. Half full. It was in front of me. Which is like twelve cookies. It was and then in front I of looked me. after we adjusted cameras because we're seven. all busy working while he's sitting there reading his newspaper. <laughs> Two cookies left. And they were for the crew. Three. Three cookies were left. Okay, so you ate nine. <laughs> it was in front of me. Moving on. Four. You can't win. Four. <laughs> you can't win. No, so, here's the thing. Look, Megamind, which I didn't see by the way, and let me explain this. Um, usually the, the usually the, the kids' films, right? When they screen the kids' films, they screen them on Saturday. Usually a Saturday, sometimes a Sunday morning. So that all the critics who have kids can bring their kids, and it's a Saturday morning, and then you're done with it. Megamind, for some bizarre, strange reason, screened 3 p.m. on a Saturday. Uh, and Mark went to it, and I thought, you know what? This is in the middle of my Saturday. I'm not going to schlep to Hollywood in the middle of a Saturday to see a 3D movie that I know I'm going to hate. 
So I didn't go. But here's the thing. I love The Incredibles. Didn't like Despicable Me. I tried to. It just didn't work. And and they're all. And this look. I just looked you at this. You love Will Ferrell. I love he's Will funny. Ferrell. But the whole idea of it. Yeah, but he's not Will Ferrell. He's a voice. And the whole idea of the thing. It just seemed to me. It's like it's more of the same. Let's take the whole superhero idea. Let's turn it on its ear. Let's play with the idea of heroes and villains in a 3D CG kind of a way. Look, The Incredibles said everything that needed to be said about that. This is like doing an animated film about a, about a, a wealthy industrialist and his little sleigh. You know, no, we've already had Citizen Kane. Leave it alone. But what I, but, but what I liked about Megamind is that it, it, when, you, when you boil it down, it's essentially the story of two preening egos. These two, there's a villainous ego and a hero ego, and I think that was funny, and they played with that. By the way, I picked up my iPhone because I, you know, Wade was talking about how the animated films uh, screen in the morning tangled the Disney film yes. screens next Saturday at 10 a.m. Thank goodness. Are you going? I will go. Oh, will go look tangled. at Mr. Blah Blah. He's going to go to that one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Blah Blah. And wow. yet it got a bigger laugh than anything else I would have said, so I, I'm justified in my Blah Blah. So yes. Megamind, I would, I, would, uh, I would recommend Megamind. Uh, I would vaguely recommend Megamind. Vaguely? Yes. Wow, that's a strong recommendation. Hey, look, it's look I, I give it so much more credit. Than Wade, once again. That's going to be on the proving poster. Proving himself to be a hater. Mark that's going to be on the poster. Wade hater. Hmm? It's going to be on the poster. I can see that. But it's it's it, like commercials. Megamind. I vaguely recommend it. Mark Kaiser. <laughs> Stupid for movies.